What I have here <clears throat> is my Daryl Strawberry PC binder. And uh, no, no um, huge dollar cards here, but some of the more popular ones from the mid 80s. And um, I'm not sure the best way to do this, perhaps. Maybe I'll pick up the camera, but I have, uh, first off, probably his most obscure card, this 1982 TCMA uh, minor league card. It's really hard to hard to see him in that picture, but. Um, and I have the 83 Topps Traded Rookie, which was a huge card way back when. Um, now not so much, but. I actually acquired this, probably one of the better eBay deals I ever had. Um, maybe a hundred or so different Daryl Strawberry cards, and this was included. And I paid um, like six dollars and something for the lot. And I told that story before, I think the last time I did this video, uh, way back when on my other channel, but doing it again for this channel. And actually I just realized uh, they're not all here. I'm missing uh, my 84 Donruss. I have an 84 Donruss rookie. Graded PSA 9, but here's 83 tops traded, 84 tops, and Opichi, 84 Fleer, and this is, uh, I think it's an 84 Drakes. And the Fleer and Donruss, Donruss Lee from 85. Let's see another Fleer rookie there. It's a fan club issue, Daryl Strawberry, and then some of the Boxed card set versions, uh, KB Toys. This one looks like it's a Walgreens set or some pharmacy. Kmart. Pretty, um, well, I'm gonna say it's not as thorough as my uh, Dot Gooden collection, but, um, but not that bad. Again, some food issues, base cards. Here's a Sportflex, here's another Daryl. I'm not sure, is that the... Yeah, I got doubles, doubles of that one. It's a nice card. Sportflex 86, tops, inserts, Opichi, more Drakes, another Sportflex there. And here's, uh, looks like 1986 Fleer, some Post, Upper Deck. Just a, uh, a decent lot. Daryl Strawberry, again, no big money here, but um, one of my favorite players growing up. And not unlike uh, Dwight Gooden, he also fell on some hard times in regards to personal off the field issues. But I still like him nonetheless. I actually had a pretty good year with the Yankees one year later in his career when he went over. I think he went over the same year Dwight Gooden went over. 2006 or 1996 I mean and they won the World Series that year so some more food issues oddball cards here some of these I don't recognize like I'm not, I think, I'm not sure if that's a leaf a glossy Don Russ baseball's best This is from Dunruss Opening Day. You can tell because it has the maroon border, or whatever color that is, but it's not black border like this one. More of the same here. You got a uh, non-licensed Broder, Rob Broder. Daryl Strawberry card. Uh, looks like some stickers here. So not, again, not a bad lot. Almost. It kind of mirrors the Dwight Gooden one, but just not as many cards. But a lot of the same sort of, you know, base tops, Fleer Donruss issues, throw in some food issues, some oddball cards, box set cards, all-star cards, minis. Here's some highlights here. Looks like I got another double of this uh, Donruss.
I'll do more binder videos as time goes on. Because I have a, I got a lot. I'm not gonna redo every single one that I did once before on my other channel, but I'll do some of the more popular ones. I've only done one so far, and this being the second. I did the White Good in a few months back. I know at one point he goes to the Dodgers here. Once we're getting close to that, I think it was 91. And here we go. Dodgers. I remember when he went to the Dodgers and then Eric Davis went to the Dodgers and just on paper it was like this ridiculous one-two punch in the lineup. They, they never really actually did anything or they underperformed. But uh, at the time when the thought of Eric Davis and Gerald Strawberry hitting back-to-back -back in this lineup was just like, ridiculous to think about. But again, I don't think they ever quite live up to their expectations. Playing together out in LA. Here's a 90, is this 94 finest? 94 maybe? I'm not sure if it's 93 or 94. Guessing game. This is fun fact. I'm not sure. I don't know where this is from. This is a. I'm not even sure if it's a card, some classic. Uh, looks like, oh, it's the back of a sticker, Chris Basio sticker, apparently, because it pertains to Daryl Strawberry. It was put in with this collection. So, there you have it. And also some Giants cards here, and some Yankees cards. Forgot about him being on the Giants. Here's one reason on the Mets. So looks like I did some back to back here, I'm not sure why. Or maybe I forgot. I had that and I stuck it in there. And I think that's it almost. Yep. And I have these uh, this oversized, oversized tops rookie, and there's a disc here. So that's the uh, that's my Daryl Strawberry PC binder. And uh, a couple of my favorites right here. I really like this uh, 1982 TCMA minor league issue. I think it's his very first baseball card. I'm not 100% positive, but I think it is. And the last card I have is this uh, autographed uh, duel of uh, Daryl Strawberry and uh, Dwight Gooden, Oops. which I, I think I showed in my Dwight Gooden video. Maybe I didn't, but it also applies here. And this is from, I think, 2004 Don Russ Classic Scripts. This writing is on the on the card holder, it's not on the card itself. But, uh, there you have it. The Daryl Strawberry PC Binder. Thanks for watching.